Hello students, from now onwards I want to start the videos on power amplifiers. Power amplifiers are also called large signal amplifiers. Okay. Yes. What are these uh, power amplifiers? These are the amplifiers which develops and feeds loads like a loudspeaker, sour motor, handling large signals. Okay. So that is the reason these are called large signal power amplifiers. What are the applications of large signal power amplifiers? Yes, these are the applications of uh, power amplifiers are used in loudspeakers. Means power amplifiers are used to drive the loudspeakers or used to drive the servo motors in industries and in tape players are used and TV receivers are used and in CRTs they are used. Okay. So in all the things, power amplifiers are to handle large signals. Now I'll make you clear about this definition by taking an example of a public address system. Yes, I'll take the public address system. Yes, we usually call it as PA system. It consists of, first is microphone. Next, amplifiers, system. So what is the public address system? You all know it is about the mic system I am speaking. The input for microphone is, what is the input for microphone? Our voice signal, voice signal, okay then microphone converts this voice signal into electrical signal. What is the amplitude of this? It is a very less amplitude. I can say uh, it is uh, for microvolts, very less amplitude. To increase the voice level or if you want to address a public gathering, this small amount of signal, this small amplitude signal is not enough. It will just die after traveling some meters, just one meter, two meter distance, it will just die. So that is the reason, yes, first, you have to convert this microvolt signal into millivolt signal by using amplifier. What are the amplifier here? What are these amplifiers? These amplifiers are nothing but RCE amplifiers, the voltage amplifiers, are normal small signal amplifiers. Okay, so these small signal, all these amplifier 1, amplifier 2, amplifier etc, amplifier n, all these are called, the set is called multi-stage amplifier. The set is called multi-stage amplifier. All these multi-stage amplifiers, so remember these are small signal amplifiers. Small signal amplifiers. Okay. Means their output is in terms of just millivolts. They can handle only millivolts of signal. So this microvolts of signal converted into millivolts after amplifier 1. Then with increased amplitude but in, in terms of millivolts only and after this amplifier n means the last stage of the multi-stage amplifier the output is in terms of volts okay so this volt signal can't be handled by the small signal amplifier now we have to go to another amplifier which can handle this large signal that is our power amplifier so that is the reason, yes we can say, the power amplifier is the last stage of the multi-stage amplifier. At the same time, I can say, power amplifier is feeding the loudspeaker. So now what is happening? The output of the power amplifier is very high. Now you are giving that to the loudspeaker. Loudspeaker will give a high sound signal. Okay. So now totally we converted a small voice signal into a big sound. Okay, with this public address system or with this totally amplifier system. Okay, so this is the significance of the 
power amplifier. This is the place where your power amplifier is located in public address system. Okay. So now, what are the features of these power amplifiers? I will explain one by one. What is the first feature? The first feature is, it is the last stage of multi-stage amplifier. Yes. First is last stage of multi-stage amplifier and the input for the power amplifier is of order volts and the second feature is large voltage and current swings obviously obviously as it is handling large signal yes it has large voltage and current swings then the third feature then the third feature is see to analyze a small signal amplifier at low frequencies, we will go for H parameter model. And to analyze a, a small signal at high frequency, we will go for hybrid pi. But to analyze this power amplifier, we are going to use load line analysis. Remember, load line analysis. We are not going to use any H parameter model or hybrid pi model. Okay. Then the fourth one is yes, in the amplifiers, there are so many distortions in normal amplifier. But in the power amplifier, the distortion exists is called harmonic distortion. And the fifth one. See, the power amplifier is handling or the power amplifier is feeding the loudspeaker. And this loudspeaker input impedance is very less. Its input impedance is very less. Okay. So, to get impedance matching, the power amplifier output impedance must be small. Okay. So, that is a good, that is another important feature. Output impedance must be small. And the other feature is, see, as these are handling high powers, obviously the size of the transistor is high. The power amplifier's transistor is not like our normal regular BJT transistor size like BC107 size. It is of very high size and the transistor is called SL100. SL100. Okay. So, the other feature is the transistor is of big size. The reason is we must provide some heat sense because it is handling as it is handling large signals, there exists high heat dissipation. To handle it, we must provide heat cell. So, to include that heat cell in the manufacturing itself or in designing the transistor itself, the transistor is with bigger size. Okay. Then, the other one is, is this all handling voice signals? So, the power amplifiers are audio power amplifiers. Their frequency is audio frequency range. Okay. So, these are all the features of power amplifiers. Fine. So, in the next class, we will see about uh, the concept of load line and the classification of power amplifiers. Okay. Thank you very much.